It was the first week of school, and I came to church with him, and I held his little hand. And as we were walking through the building, from the eighth grade down, we're saying, hey, Colin, hey, Colin. And I thought, wow, this feels like home. It doesn't matter what teacher it is, their teacher, their principal, anybody. Everybody knows your child's name. They know what class they're in. They all say, good morning, Ben, good morning, whoever's getting out. And they all take the time to, to get to know the family also. Everybody from the front desk on knew every child by name. It felt warm. It felt like family. I felt love. We felt really welcomed. We felt really comfortable. So it was an easy decision from there on what school to choose. When you walk through these halls, you don't just feel the love of Christ here, you see it. You see it in the students, you see it in the teachers, and our kids are learning not just academics, they're learning life. They're learning virtues, they're learning life lessons, things that are going to help them succeed in the real world. We will give your child the academics that you're looking for, but I feel like when we teach kids about God and His love for us, that the academics fall into place. We're more focused on working on their virtues working on their character, and working on the person as a whole. And once we have that down, then we can work on academics. They definitely have taught me to be more polite and how to greet people in certain ways and just how to be just a nice person in general. I want kids to really embrace the education that they're getting at a Catholic school and to really get to know the Lord and to hold on to their faith and to realize that it's a gift and it's a gift that should be cherished. With Declan having autism, I knew that he needed to be somewhere where he can be himself and be amongst a crowd that could accept him for who he was and that was going to be able to deal with everything that he has going on. With Jack, we had trouble with a couple daycares. He was removed from a couple daycares and we tried public school pre-K. and They couldn't accommodate Zachary. You know, having mild autism has been a challenge and the fact that he has a shadow that can attend classes with him is great. And St. Margaret's has been very open to that and they work well. Uh, almost seamlessly with the shadows and the St. Nicholas Center. So it's been great for his development and we couldn't have asked for a better partnership. Ellie was diagnosed with epilepsy in 2019. She actually had her first seizure while at school. So she had a medical emergency on campus and the support that we received was overwhelming from the school. Not only did they do everything right from the school standpoint during to get her the care and attention she needed, but also the school came together and prayed a rosary for her that day, which was really just important to us. We know that prayer is powerful, so the fact that our kids get to pray during their school day um, is just, it's important to us as a family. Since then, um, St. Margaret has been willing to grow with us and learn more about her condition to keep her as safe as possible and to make sure that the teachers and staff are well educated on epilepsy. Sharing your children with them most of the day is, you know, not a decision you take lightly. So visiting the school and the welcoming atmosphere that we were welcomed with was just wonderful. It's definitely a decision to make to, to choose to, to pay for education when you can get it free, but very comfortable to be able to send our kids here knowing that they're going to get a, a good education through our investment. And then it's even a bigger benefit now that we're getting the fourth one free. She's been attending daycare, uh, you know, ever since shortly after she was born. And, uh, you know, from a cost perspective, it's pretty much the same thing. Of course, there's a small discount for having more than one child, so it works out great for us. I think we look at value and we believe that it's a investment that we're making um, in our, our children. And, you know, we hope that that helps them to be able to do wonderful things in the future. They're learning to be better versions of themselves. And so to us, that is, that's priceless. We're going to love your child as much as you love your child and your child will always be put first.